no, I thought to just show you today um, and maybe tomorrow a couple of good places to have your sunset drinks. Now this place here is um, Coup d'Etat. Coup d'Etat. It's a little bit on the flash side, on the expensive side. So if you got the money, you can come and spend it. Uh, this place is a fantastic restaurant too during the day, especially uh, lunchtime and nighttime. But, um, yeah, great little spot. So this place would be what I call the high end of the dollar scale. Uh, what I'll show you tomorrow is at the moderate level, and then after that I'll show you the budget version of Sunset Drinks. How's about that? One last look at all the groovy sounds and the groovy people at Coup d'Etat in Seminyak, right on the beach. Up here we've got the, uh, the Tiki Bar, upstairs at Coup d'Etat. Sunset up here. Wander through the dining area. Hello, Hello boss, how are you? Good. Up a kebab? Hey, bike, bike, side, yeah. Hey, bike. Then you have another little viewing bar up here. And there she is. Coup d'Etat, Sunset Drinks. Nice little music playing. Interesting statue. So there you have it. Coup d'Etat, Sunset Drinks, the expensive version. So, evening now. Had the big, big, big day out today. This was the uh, exploration day on the bikes where we ended up in Uluwatu and Malasti Beach and some other cliff top areas so that's going to be a cracking few videos and shots on that one and we're just at one of my old haunts again now La Plancha on the beach for sunset drinks our kids dress like he's on a cruise ship he's on a cruise ship holiday got his socks on as you can see he's getting busy already and the sun's probably still around 40 minutes from down now so let's get the mojitos in. So we've done sunset drinks at a rather expensive place, Coup d'Etat. We've done sunset drinks at a moderate to expensive place, La Plancha, which is right on the beach. And now number three version for sunset drinks is what is the budget version. The budget version is all these guys that own all the lounges on the beach and their little sec sections. They have, uh, they have their own, should we say, giant chili bins at the back with all the beers and stuff and uh, the peanuts. So we're going to check out Bruno's Bar. And that's only because it's my sister's favourite when she comes to stay here. To show you what the uh, other end of the scale is. Saved me a lot of money. Just buying those expensive cocktails at La Plancha. 
what were they? La Pancha, I was buying uh, mojitos. They come in little jugs, those little, what do they call, jam jars. Uh, so it was a good sized mojito. But, and the reasonable price, I think it was about $12 New Zealand, which is about $7.50 US. And coup d'etat, we just went for the jug of sangria. And uh, that proved out to be quite good value for money. That was uh, around about seventy dollars for the seventy thousand for the jug, seven seven hundred thousand for the jug. So, but it cost us about thirty-five bucks. So here we are, Bruno's bar. There's Maddie. Hey. There's Maddie straight away. How are you? I'm a bloody good up at the bar. bar. Bike, bike side job, bike, brother. Bike, bike. How are you? Very good. Just setting up. Yeah. But early, am I early? Yeah. Uh, See, I'm early. I'm early for drinks with at Bruno's bar. You want to yes. Yeah, cheers, mate. Tell me, Cassie. How have you been? Good. Yeah? Good? Yeah. Bruno, how are you, mate? So I'm probably a little bit early for uh, sunset drinks by about 20 minutes. I'm not too sure what time it is. I think it's about. Um, you know Almost five o'clock. So this is what goes on every night on the beach from Malasti Street just down there, Jalan Malasti, all the way up to Padmas 3 and beyond and to Double Six. Past Double Six is when you get into those places like La Plancha where they have more of the bean bags and fancy umbrellas and music, cocktails and hundreds and hundreds of workers just smashing them out. Um, very high tech too, you know, all taking their orders on iPads as to go, you don't have to move. Um, but uh, this, is, this is good fun because you'll, you get all the hawkers coming, you get to know them all, and you get a few regulars. Let's get my first Bentang from Made and Bruno at Bruno's Bar, which is just 60 70 meters north of Jalan Malasti. Heading towards Jalan Double, Jalan Padma. Well, the sun's getting a bit lower in the sky, and I've just noticed behind me Charlie Tango's turned up. Charlie Tango's a bit of a legend on this beach. He's an alcoholic, basically. He'll just sit there and play his guitar and sing songs very badly in return for free drinks. <laughs> Let's just see if anybody uh, succumbs to Charlie Tango's charms. Good thing about this place is you can get your Bintang beer for only 25,000 rupiah. So that's cheap. Cheap sunset drinks. And you get a free bowl of peanuts. So let's just see if Charlie Tango scores a customer. Charlie started. Don't know if we can hear it from here, but we'll give it a go. I think it sounds like, yeah, it's Layla, Eric Clapton. Not as skillful on the guitar as Eric Clapton. <laughs> I'll have to get close up on it soon. Charlie Tango's killing Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond right now. Look at the sunset going down on Legian Beach. Quite a nice sunset tonight, a lot of people around. Look at the amount of people on the beach. <laughs> Charlie Tango is really entertaining this crowd here. So that was Sunset Drinks at Bruno's Bar. Three beers, been sat here for uh, an hour, hour and a half, and um, 75,000 rupiah, which is about eight bucks New Zealand. So uh, eight bucks New Zealand, that means it's about $5.50 US. Sat here, got some free peanuts and um, a little bit of entertainment from the crazy Aussies and um, 
Shelly Tango and a brilliant sunset. So those are your three options for a sunset. The cheap option on the beach, you know, the medium option on the beach at La Plancha, all the bars next to La Plancha, or you can go to a hotel like Potato Head or like I did, Coup d'etat. That's your options. Either way, you always get a beautiful sunset in Bali. Never get sick of that sunset.